Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 60 of Direwolf20's Omnifactory. Let's play series, woohoo! Uh, between episodes, I prepared for my Microverse Miner, and I think I'm cool to actually build the thing. Uh, so let's see, can I do that? Which one of these buttons? Whoa, hello, there you go, that's what I want. Boom, that's what's up. Hey there, hey there, buddy. Was there a way to rotate this dude? I always forget. I can never tell. Uh, yeah. yeah, is that it? Is that cool? Which one of you guys would be like the actual machine doohickey? Where's the machine doohickey go? Ah, ah, that would be this one. All right, so let's let's just do it. Let's just do it for reals, right? I'm gonna I think if we run away and then come back, it should clear that out. I'm just gonna do it manually ish All right so real quick watch let's see center bottom is going to be that and next to that looks like some kind of green inputy bussy thingy that would probably be small item input yeah that works cool um and then we need a bunch of modular machine casings all around but in the back in the center is going to be the power and then to the right of that is going to be the output so this is a five by five so i'm pretty much ready for for what it needs to look like, right? And then the power modularium thing, cool. All right, and then we just need casing all around there. Neat. Okay, uh, and in addition, we need some ineffable glass around the edges, right? So that would be this stuff, which I prepared ahead of time as well. Not there, though. And you know what? I think this has to be taller. Was not super prepared for the height of this thing. Oh, do we have a machine here? Oh, uh, you might be in my way, buddy. You might need to move. You might need to move. That shouldn't be hard to move, though, to be clear. That should be easy to move. What are you guys? Uh, that's right, you do that thing. Yeah, I remember you and why you exist. Yeah, I could probably just move you a little bit. That shouldn't be too big a deal. What is that, vibrant? Yeah, I can move that thing. I'm just gonna do this this, this, and then this. That should be cool. And then you can go here and put your batteries back and then your vibrance can go like this. A little bit of extra wiring, but not, not what I would call the end of the world. Okay, cool. So you should be a three by three, or a five by five, I mean, right? So you need to come out to here. And then your vibe and your glass goes here. Neat. I'm excited for this microverse miner, and I'll tell you why. Because this thing's gonna get me iridium and osmium, which is something that I I don't want to say desperately need, but I really do need some iridium and osmium. Uh, there's there's a lot of things that I've wanted to build recently uh, that I've been looking at off camera. So then I've said to myself like, oh, if I had iridium and osmium, I could make this. And that would be nice. So uh, I've also spent some time. Oh, that's right. Ineffable glass I can walk through, can't I? Oh, would you look at that? Ain't that special? That's pretty spiffy, actually. Cool. So I spent some time between episodes automating most of the things that are needed um, to, to kind of get this thing going. And uh, I'll talk to you about that in a sec. So you guys need to basically go away. Shouldn't you be connecting? I feel like you could connect here, couldn't you? There you go, that should work. A little bit tight, but it's okay. Now, where do these top pieces go? Kind of directly in the corners. Okay, that's fair. Oh, you're actually in my way too here, wiring. Whew. I tried to make this nice, and I just realized that it's going to actually be a little bit trickier than I thought it would be to get this whole thing placed. Because my wiring here is really kind of in the way. I could run it behind, though, couldn't I? Yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
Yeah, why don't I do that? Eh. What do we got here? Yeah, I remember you guys. All right, give me a sec to rewire this. All right, a little dire wiry, but you know, it'll do. It'll do. So I think these go in these corners. Is that right? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Cool. All right, so the front face of this is gonna be that stuff, but I wanna figure out what goes in the middle. Cause I think it's diamond blocks. And then in the center of that is the quantum compressor and then more diamond blocks. Okay, cool. So I can do that. I'm assuming any block diamond will do, right? Does it have to be the that one, you think? It might. Plus it would look cooler if I did it that way, right? Why don't we do that? This was a lot of diamond, by the way. Do I have a chisel? I do. Hooray for direwolf having a chisel. Uh, so we want this one, the purple one it looked like, right? Yeah, totally the purple one. And this is not where this goes. This goes here. All right, that should be a medium microverse projector. Yes, yes, hooray, sweet. Cool, status not enough energy, we can solve that. So we should have an energy conduit coming down over here somewhere. Hooray. Energy, woot. He has a pretty large buffer of energy that he can hold on to, but we should be fine with that. Big item output. Uh, we should probably have some kind of import bus going on for him. So I don't have to run back there and collect those items, right? As, as this thing runs. Does that sound like a plan? So iridium and osmium, they're gonna be used for some high-end awesomeness. Uh, and I'm really not even kidding when I'm telling you I'm excited about having access to this right now. Cause literally like five or six things that I've wanted to craft recently have needed it. And I'm just like, ooh, I wish I had some of that. I should upgrade my jetpack so I can do things a little bit easier here, but you know, that seems like a smart thing that a smart person would do. Perfect. We can have you here. And your device is online. Cool. Nice. Works for me. All right. Nice and compact and good looking. All right. There's a little bit of wiring going on up here for some of the other stuff that we have. Our old, hey, you're low on power? You shouldn't be low on power. Are you not getting juice? You might not be getting juice. Now you're getting juice. Now you're no longer low on power? Good. Good. I like it. Totally need to de dire wire this base at some point. But hey, it works. So now we're missing our input item. You ready? Check this out. Between episodes, I crafted this bad boy. Oh yeah. So all these components are auto craftable with the exception of the reinforced mining laser because that needs advanced crafting. So between episodes, I did a couple cool things. Quest complete, tier four miner, yay. Uh, I added co-processing units here because you guys have been yelling at me for that forever. And I started down the path of packaged auto and I was all kinds of ready to do the packaged auto mod, right? Um, We've got the unpacker and the recipe encoder and, and the package recipe encoder. So like that guy's up here. See that? I added that up here. And I was going to do a, a crystal teen ingot, but I actually learned I didn't need the recipe mod for that. But that's okay. And then I was all ready for extended crafting, right? And I taught my AE system how to make an automation interface. 
And we have everything we need, except bum, 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 Osmeridium plates. Osmeridium plates. Let's talk about Osmeridium plates, shall we? Guess what you need to craft Osmeridium. I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's in the name. Osmeridium needs, as you may have guessed, Osmium and Iridium. Remember like eight seconds ago when I was saying like I can't wait to get Osmium and Iridium because I need it for lots of cool stuff? Yeah. And Helium apparently. will get me going on that bad boy. So, uh, and 1900-ish Kelvin. So this guy is going to be hot. Not hot enough. Not hot enough. All right. So we're going to need to upgrade our Cooper Nickel at least a little bit um, to a higher tier. We'll probably want Canthal. Canthal should be good, right? Because that does 2700K. And Osmeridium, right, needs 2900K. So not 2700K, 2900K. So we'll probably want Nichrome then. Yeah, Nichrome's where we're going to want to be. So can I get um, some Nichrome stuff? I don't think that'll be too hard. Um, let's get, can I craft you? Do I know how to craft you? I don't know that I do. What do you do? You're a vacuum freezer of hot nichrome, chrome, and nickel. Do I not have you, like, programmed? That's kind of funny. I should, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I have you? I should. So let's get you in here, but instead of doing that, we're going to say that we're going to get five of you. Cool. And then I'll put you in one of the fast guys, right? It doesn't matter which one. It's super not important. But now we can make Nichrome, and I should probably also teach you just straight up how to make all the different Nichrome things, right? So Nichrome wire is going to be a wire mill recipe. Okay, uh, and then this guy combines into two of them. And this guy, what's the assembler? Eight, circuit eight. I think I might be able to pull that off. We have an eight down there, don't we? Or not that guy. Uh, yeah, this guy. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, no, it's actually the double. That's right. This guy. Right. So that is programmed eight. I think one of these guys has an eight in him. This is three. This is one. It might be this one back here, the assembly machine. This has an eight. That'll do. That works. Cool. So now if I want 16 of these, that shouldn't be a big deal. You're just missing chrome ingots. Uh, so we have chrome dust, and I can blast furnace you into chrome ingots. Fair enough. Uh, let's put you in with... Uh, I guess it doesn't super matter, right? You could be in this guy. Sure, why not? Doesn't matter. Sweet. And that should probably be a really fast process, right? Nice. Yeah, look how fast that is. Love it. Love how fast overclocked machines are. Greg Tech overclocked machines are pretty cool, to be fair. So the last steps then would be, if we want to get this stuff, right, uh, we need eight quantum flux, four Will of Realm data, and 64 Petrosium dust. So guess what else I did between episodes? I got a thermal elemental data model because this thing can make all this stuff, right? Um, we've also got our Wither Realm data here going on, which is cool. I needed four of those, is that right? Uh, yes, four, and then eight quantum flux, which I should be able to get three more of those relatively easy, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. Get to crafting, chief. Yeah, quick and easy. 
And we have a ton of extraterrestrial stuff, so yeah, super cool with that. Okay, um, I'm gonna get a bunch of basalt rods so that I can get my 64 petrosium. So you need more obsidian, huh? Available four, missing what? How am I missing obsidian? How did you happen to not be good? Tisk tisk. Um, let's get some kits here so we can upgrade this guy. And isn't there an augment specifically for uh, water is no longer consumed on operation, so that's a neat one. But I don't think it's important because we have infinite water, right? And we'll probably just get the, uh, this guy. Come on, Invar, let's go. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Now we're cooking. Okay. So now if I wanted 64 petrothium. Right? Um, to craft basalt's powder, right? Um, now, basalt's powder can either be done like that, or it can be chemically reacted from that. I wish I could say, like, hey, do this first. Hmm. Because this is, like, a way more efficient way of going about getting that stuff. Hmm. Yeah, that might be uh, that might be a thing. Because I mean, elemental reduction fluid pass is not bad. Don't get me wrong, right? Um, but you know, if, I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter ultimately. But I would love it if we could just. There's my blitz and cryo rods as well, right? It would be super cool if you would just do this. Though you're a little slow, to be fair. A little slow. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out if I can get it so that it'll only craft it when I need it to. But nonetheless, let's get our 64 now that I just dumped all those things in there. And you should already have these available. So then that should be like a super quick and easy craft, right? So you're making obsidian dust first? All right, easy peasy. So 64 of those. Let's give this uh, medium microverse thing a whirl, shall we? Uh, so I want my tier four miner. I want my 64 petrothium dust, the four wither realm data, um, and the quantum flux. Cool. Processing. Nice. It's working. It's working. I like it. How's our power situation? We're doing fine on power. How are you doing, Chief? I want to keep an eye on the back here, just to make sure that you're receiving all the power you need. You should be, because I remember this thing not being a huge amount of RF. Remember I checked and I was like, eh, that's not bad. Sweet. So hey, guess what? Osmium and Iridium. Quest complete. How cool is that? Uh, so that was a quest to do this guy. Right now, you want me to get iridium ingots, uh, and that'll lead to ZPM machine holes. By the way, <whistles> that's cool. That's cool. So in theory, we should be getting some iridium ore. You know what we should probably have is some acceleration cards in that thing, because you probably have a ton of stuff in here, and you should probably be accelerating that a lot more. Good deal. So I'm totally going to process my osmium and iridium, right? Like, I'm not going to just smelt that. Wait, do I only get... Explain. Do I only get 16 osmium? I thought I got 64 osmium. Oh no, I only get 16 osmium. Ouch. Boy, does that hurt. Uh, so you pulverize... Oh, I get platinum dust out of that? I'll take that. Remember I was just complaining recently that I don't have enough platinum? Right, and then you get iridium and a tiny pile of osmium. Okay, I can totally do that. Right, and then osmium ore obviously can be pulverized. We get iridium dust as a side effect, right? 
um, and more iridium dust, and then osmium and tiny pile of iridium dust. So just to be clear, right, um, you're doing, are you keeping up? You kind of are, yeah, good. But I want to add you in here somewhere. Tongue state, oil sands, gold, I can probably swap you out with gold. Nice. And now we're going to get some iridium dust, which we already had some of, obviously. I have no idea where that came from. So what do I do with iridium? How do I... I can blast furnace that into a hot iridium ingot. Um, that'll cool down into iridium. And then you can be blast furnace into osmiridium. iridium. All right, cool. So what I should probably do... What temperature do you need to be? 2719 Kelvin. All right. So let's add uh, iridium to the export bus here, right? So you should be processing that pretty quickly. Not that quickly, but pretty quickly. Okay. And then we want to add hot iridium to this guy. And presumably you'll be cool. I did upgrade him at some point, by the way. He's running on extreme voltage now. Hooray. All right. Um... So that's gonna get me Iridium processing. Quest complete, nice, cool. Wow, look at all the things that just opened up quest-wise. Ho, 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 now we're getting somewhere. Now we're doing a thing. And quest complete ZPM machine holes? How did that quest get complete? Oh, because there's no description and no actual quest. Sweet. All right, so I guess that means I've got ZPM machine holes, right? Now you'll need at least knock what a coil blocks in your blast furnace to smell draconium, really? That's cool. So if I want to process you, you're telling me cetane boosted diesel plus that with 6,800 Kelvin temperature equals a hot draconium ingot. And then the vacuum freezer needs gelid cryothium in it to cool it down. That is cool. 1,200 EU. I think extreme voltage covers that, right? Oh, come on, nighttime. I hate the rain. Let's go into our basement where it's less rainy. All right, so that was cool. Uh, the other thing that we're going to get now, though, which is super cool, is uh, let's also process our osmiridium, right? So you process into osmium dust. You have a blast furnace, 3306, turn into hot osmium. Fair enough. Let's get the pattern set up for this. So I'd like you to know how to do this. And then give me one. And then we'll put you in an assembler. And then over here, you can do this. Cool. Man, you are not that fast, are you? Takes a long time to process osmium and, 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 and iridium, but cool. You go in there, and that's that's a full export bus, right? Which tells me it's probably time for another export bus. We have a couple more capacity cards. Because we're going to have other hot ingots that we know is going to happen. Okay, so I'm thinking just like that, and then we're ready for when we need to, right? Cool. Okay, so you're all full. These ones will be the new ones. Good times. All right. So that's neat. Wow, we have a lot of osmium to process. Holy cow, is that a lot of osmium to process? How's my power holding up? Because these, I was not prepared for processing this much stuff, but power seems to be doing surprisingly okay. I'm also going to bump this dude into here. And with this setup now, I'm actually curious what other coil blocks I have access to. Because don't some of these coil blocks, when using a multi-melter, um, multi melter gives you an energy discount. But I don't know if you get any benefit from using this in a blast foil. So I think the only way to make this better is to give it an even more crazy tier of power. Okay. That's cool. So I don't know what these different voltage numbers stand for. I could probably look it up, but I think I'm going to call IV insane voltage. We'll call LUV lesser ultimate voltage. And ZPM is clear, uh, clearly a ZPM. Duh. Like, you know what a ZPM is, right? Ah, uh, cool. So let's let all this stuff process for a minute, and I will figure out what our next task is now that we've got 
Osmiridium. You know what I know what I want to do? Actually, you know what? No. What I want to do is now that we have Osmium... Um, and where's our Nichrome stuff? Let's try combining this. Right? And Iridium. Hooray! Quest complete Osmium ingot. I didn't even see that. Where was that quest hanging out at? I don't see that quest. Maybe it's hidden? So I'm going to replace these coil blocks. Because this guy has the export bus of hydrogen going on. Or that's actually deuterium. Hang on. No, it needs to be helium. Oh, I need a helium. Hang on. Nobody panic. Did this have helium in it? No, this has argon. This one has oxygen. This one has nothing. And this one has nothing. So you know what? This could do it. I could make this guy my... Uh, yeah, let's export bus helium to this guy. Might not be a bad idea. Though he's doing so much other work, I feel like I should probably just make another blast furnace. Especially since I already have the nichrome coil blocks. Does that sound fair? I think it does. I think it does. So what I'm going to do is get um, another couple... I'm going to build another blast furnace. We'll be right back. All right, so I decided this guy should be an IV machine, right? So I made um, IV-based power. Oop. Oop. Let me get a little lapatronic help here. Cool. You're getting juice, which is good. You might be a little bit slow on collecting juice, but we will put the P2P thing into, into play. And then just some heatproof machine casings, right? Okay. So you're formed. Good temperature. So enough temperature to do this, right? Yes. Yes. Looks good to me. So then you guys just need a little bit of lumium cabling. Our Lapatron's done. They're, they take a few minutes to craft, so we'll give them a little little bit of time. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Uh, let's also get the P2Ps going. P2P, not P3P. Boop and boop. Boop, boop. I could probably just tap this guy on, right? That should work. Linked, linked. Now we need helium. Right? So a bucket of helium. Cool. And how's my this stuff? What I probably need to do is tell you that you're allowed to process this. So let's put you in place of magnesite for now. And how are we on crushed? Anything hanging out that's crushed? Nope, we're good. So you're going to process all that for me, which is a good time. All right, my export bus for fluids goes here. And we presumably have some kind of cabling that will hook us up. Nice. And then this is where your interface is going to go. And now we can program stuff here, right? Um, so what we can say is you get helium. And helium can go back in the fluid interface. I should really get a wireless fluid interface at this point, but, you know. So now if we wanted to test this setup, right? We could say that, hey, you, Osmeridium, what I'm going to tell you is that you actually, we're going to do the same thing we've done with all the other blast furnace recipes. So we're going to get four Osmeridium out of this, not hot Osmeridium. Cool. Okay, so item conduits. Extract, insert. 
and then that should be cool. And then hot osmeridium goes here. Cool. And then you're going to export boss and do the thing. You're going to cool. And that looks good. So now we have, finally, osmeridium. Nice. So I'm just going to replace this here and put this pattern here. Nice. All right. So, hey, who's got osmeridium processing? Dyer does. That's what's up. And by now, our lapatronics should probably be done. Yeah, I only made two of you, didn't I? I should probably have made four. Bad direwolf. It's all right. We'll get one in each for now. Boop. And boop. Clearly having, you know, the way I have it set up right now, it wasn't a big deal. So I think I think we'll be fine. We'll leave one in there and we'll see if it sticks. And if it, if it needs more, it'll need more. We'll see. I'm not too worried about it. So hey, Osmeridium's a thing. Cool. So now I'd like to learn how to make Osmeridium plates. Right? Because isn't that what I need to make my... This thing, extended crafting, automation interface. Needs Osmeridium plates. Okay, so Osmeridium plates need a thousand of you, so that's fine. You can probably just go in that dude. So now, if I want extended crafting inter automation interface, let's get two of these. Cool. You should have no problem making that for me now. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome! That is cool. I probably want three of them to be fair. Because there's three things that I need to make automatically. I need to make this guy. I need to make these guys. And I also need to know how to make crystal teen ingots. Because I'm pretty sure crystal teen played a role somewhere in this setup. So that's also an elite crafting reference, right. So I'm gonna want one more automation interface, which we don't have the osmium for, right. We have osmium dust, it's probably chilling over here, waiting to be cooked. So once you start osmium, you should go back to doing osmium and then we'll put these guys back and we should be cool. Nice. Okay, so you're doing your thing. He's a little bit slow, but he, he just passively processing all the osmium and meridium we get. So I think that's fine. Um, automation interface, I should be able to make another one of you now because we have osmium, so that's cool. The Lapatronic Energy Orb is in process, so let's get those guys plugged in here. You should be done like literally any second. There you go. Okay, back in a minute. We'll see what's up. So with three IV-based blast furnaces running at once, I've definitely been draining my power a little bit. Hopefully it'll hold out until all that smelting is done, and then it should recharge. But wow, I I, I did not think I'd be I'd be impacting my power this much, but I guess I am. All right, so now that we've got Osmeridium and we've got the extended crafting table stuff, uh, automation working, you're making what? You're crafting some black steel dust for me? That's cool. Somebody's stuck somewhere, I feel like. Are you stuck, Mixer? You are. Look at you being stuck. Okay, cool. Oh, why would you do something funny like that, Mixer? That's a funny thing to do. Why would you do that? I just dump you in there and then you'd be happy. That would be really, that would, I, I would like super appreciate that. Black bronze dust. Nope, we don't have any of that. Um, steel dust. I'm wondering why you're being all funny like that. I'm wondering if you like mixed up some recipes somewhere. It's possible. It's possible. Um,. Hey, you got two automation interfaces complete, though, so that's super handy. Black steel dust. How do we make that again? It's red coal, right, in a mixer? 
Steel, black bronze, and void crystals. That's what we're missing. Let's get a few of these extras. All right, guys, we've almost finished processing all that iridium, and hilariously, we are stupidly low on power. Like, I've completely drained my Lapatronic energy orbs, which I didn't think I was going to be able to do. But, to be fair, we did just process a ton of resources. Uh, that said, I think it's probably wrapping up point for the episode. So let's wrap up here. We'll come back next time, and we'll get extended crafting automated. And once that's automated, then we can do some really cool stuff. Um, so, for now, Dowel20 is signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.